Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you the benefits of cloud hosting for WordPress. Now I'll drop a link in the description so you can compare some cloud hosting plans and receive special discounts. Well, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the first thing I want to cover is the difference between cloud hosting and traditional hosting. Because a lot of people are confused by the difference between those two types of hosting. You know, what's the difference? Is there really a different type of hosting? Well, yes, there actually is. And I'm going to go ahead and explain that now. So traditional hosting essentially means that all your websites, all of the websites that are on a server that's used for shared hosting, are all on one server. Think of it this way, you've got one computer and each and every website is using the same processing power from that computer. No more, no less. They're basically stuck and anchored to that one server. So let's say one website has a particularly busy day where it gets a lot of views and a lot of clicks and a lot of traffic to that website. Well, because of that, all the other websites may be a bit slower on that day or during that time period. The reason being is since they're all using the same resources since all of the websites are operating on the same finite amount of resources then if one is doing more successful or driving more traffic to their website if one company let's say runs an ad campaign and drives a lot of traffic to that website then all the other websites that you have on that server all the other websites on that shared server will have slightly less resources for themselves now if multiple websites are doing this it can start to slow down all the other websites on that shared hosting server. Now that's actually the problem which cloud hosting tries to fix. Cloud hosting is essentially a hosting platform with multiple computers all holding the same information, all operating with the same synced data. With cloud hosting, you can think of it this way. The load is essentially balanced to a cluster of multiple servers. All of the information and applications and websites are essentially mirrored across the whole cluster, meaning each and every server has access to that information, so can provide it to the traffic coming to your website. What this means is that let's say one website is very particularly busy on a certain day. It will take up all the resources, let's say maybe of one server, but all the other servers will still have no resources allocated for that traffic. So therefore your server, your website is not actually going to slow down because the information is just being provided from a different computer instead of the one singular computer, which is serving all the traffic to the busy website. So now let's go ahead and talk about the benefits of this for WordPress hosting. When you're hosting WordPress specific websites, you really have three different types of plans you can get. You can get shared WordPress hosting, managed WordPress hosting, and then cloud WordPress hosting. Now let's talk about the differences between all of these three plans and some of the benefits of the cloud WordPress hosting. Now shared WordPress hosting is always the cheapest, always gonna be very cheap, very inexpensive. Essentially all it means is that your WordPress website is on a shared server, but that shared server is dedicated to only hosting websites which run on the WordPress CMS or content management system. Now this is faster than traditional shared hosting because all of the websites running on that server are running WordPress, which means the server can be optimized to only support WordPress. The next step up, however, is managed WordPress hosting. What managed WordPress hosting is, is essentially your WordPress features are automated. Your WordPress features are more customized and made to perform even better. Now, depending on the plan, WordPress managed hosting can be shared or it can be dedicated. But the thing to note is that it's basically a custom version of the more basic shared plans for WordPress. Think faster performance, higher security, automatic backups, things like that. And then finally, there's WordPress cloud hosting. Essentially, you can think of this as kind of a merger between these two systems. It combines the advanced features of managed WordPress hosting with a cloud server which means its aim is to make your website as efficient and fast as possible. The aim is to make your website super high performance with little to no downtime at all. Now because of this, these plans are slightly more expensive because they have to provide multiple servers, they have to provide a cluster instead of just a singular server. But if you're willing to pay the extra price, it almost always comes with increased performance and just better functionality in general. Now just to recap what we talked about today, essentially cloud hosting 
hosting is like regular hosting, but it's done on a cluster of mirrored servers. And what this means is if one server is serving one specific website at full capacity, all the other servers will be serving different other websites, which means your websites won't experience lag or latency during high uptime on other people's websites. You can essentially think of this as a security plan. So if anyone else is doing really good and they're driving a lot of traffic to their website, instead of your website slowing down, you just won't notice it at all. You're basically securing a high performance website and through cloud hosting, you're guaranteeing that it's gonna be as high performance as possible all the time. Now the benefits for this when it goes to cloud WordPress hosting is essentially just higher performance, higher customization, and better uptime at a slightly higher cost. You really have to compare the cost to the uptime. Are you willing for your website to have some latency sometimes to maybe lag out if other websites are doing well? Basically how quick, how reliable do you need your website to be? If you're just running a small business or something, I really wouldn't worry about getting cloud WordPress hosting. If however, let's say you're running an online game, something online that requires very low latency, very high performance, very high uptime, then definitely look into cloud WordPress hosting. Well, thank you so much for listening. Now, if you do have any questions for me, just drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Also, I have included a link in the description so you can check out these cloud WordPress plans and receive special discounts. Well, thanks for watching. Till next time and have a great day.